getting crazy attention right now. And honestly, the hype makes sense. This phone just got benchmarked on both Geekbench and Antutu, and the numbers? Yeah, they're wild. So let's break it down in simple English so everyone can follow, because this new Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 inside this phone is doing some interesting things. So first, let's talk about that Antutu score. The OnePlus A6T scored over 3.5 million points. That is a huge number. It's not the highest in the world. The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 goes past 4 million, but still, 3.5 million puts this phone in the top tier easily. And here's something cool. The phone is using LPDDR6X RAM and UFS 4.1 storage. These are super fast. LPDDR6X is basically the new generation of RAM, so apps open fast, games load faster, and everything feels smoother. Now the display, bro, this thing comes with a 165 hertz screen. That's insane. Most people don't even have 120 hertz at home. A 165 hertz display just makes everything feel like butter. Smooth scrolling, smooth animations, smooth gaming. It's like the screen is always ahead of your finger. And the GPU inside is the Adreno 840. Now, here's the interesting part. The name is the same as the GPU inside the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, but it's not the same power level. It's like having two cars with the same name, but one has a bigger engine. So yeah, the GPU on the 8 Gen 5 is slightly weaker, but still powerful enough for gaming and heavy apps. Now, let's jump to Geekbench because this is where things get spicy. The OnePlus A6T was spotted with the model number PLR110, and the scores show something very interesting. On single core, the Snapdragon HN5 scores around 3,000 points. On multi core, it goes above 10,000. That is a big, big jump compared to older chipsets. And here's the cool twist the multi core score is actually better than the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. Yeah. The cheaper chip performs better in multi-core, that's crazy. But the 8 Elite still wins in single-core. It scores about 3,800 in single-core and around 12,000 in multi-core. So why does the Elite perform better? Simple. It has higher clock speeds. The prime core on the Elite goes up to 4.32 GHz, while the 8 Gen 5 only goes up to 3.8 GHz. And the other cores are also faster on the Elite. So yes, the Elite is stronger overall, but the 8 Gen 5 is still very powerful for a phone at this price. Now here's something a lot of people don't know. Last year's Snapdragon 8 Elite was not that strong in multi-core. It scored under 10,000. But this year, the new 8 Gen 5 passes that easily. So even though it's not the Elite model, it's actually beating last year's top chip in some areas. Now, let's move away from benchmarks and talk about the actual phone because OnePlus is going crazy with the hardware. The OnePlus A6T is expected to have a massive 8,000 mAh battery. This is not a normal battery. This is a go two days on one charge kind of battery. Pair that with the new Snapdragon HN5, which is more power efficient. And bro, the battery life in this phone is going to be stupid good. And charging? you're getting 100 watt fast charging. So if you somehow manage to drain an 8,000 milliamp hour battery, you can plug it in and go from almost empty to full in a short time. The phone is also built strong, like really strong. It has a metal frame, an ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanner, and here's the crazy part. IP66, IP68, IP69, and IP69K certifications. Basically, this thing is built like a tank. Water, dust, pressure, heat, it's ready for all of it. Now, the last question everyone is asking, what will this phone be called globally? Because the A-series usually comes to the global market with a different name. Maybe it will become something like the OnePlus 12T. Maybe something else. We'll just have to wait and see. But from everything we know right now, the A6T is shaping up to be one of the most powerful and most durable phones OnePlus has made in a long time. Huge battery, crazy display, fast RAM, top-tier chip, insane benchmarks. This phone is basically a what-if phone. Like, what if OnePlus just pushed everything to the limit? And honestly, they did. If this launches globally with the right price, a lot of other brands are going to feel the heat. Let's keep watching. This phone is going to make noise.